Hi, Patrick here. Uh, have to you to will view, and uh, we are here to do another film review. Uh, this this movie, what we'll be talking about today, is called Take Me Home. Uh, this is from our good friends from Bayview Entertainment. Uh, this is also was released on uh, Monterey Monterey Media uh, and, and through Bayview. Um, and this is called Take Me Home. This movie premiered in 2011 uh, at, a, at Nashville Film Festival. And it also premiered to the public in 2012. Um, it stars Sam Yeager as Tom and um, Amber Yeager as, uh, as Claire. Uh, the cast also includes, this is, it's a great cast, Lynn Shea, Victor Garber, Christine Rose, Bree Turner, uh, Brendan Elliott, uh, Michelle... Krusik, uh, and other hosts of, uh, of, uh, of stars here, actors, uh, Ed Vaughn as the motel clerk, Frida Jane as the secretary, she was really cute too, um, and of course, like I said, I mentioned Brennan Elliott, uh, mainstay of Hallmark movies, uh, Brie Turner, who, who you might remember from, uh, Grimm, uh, she played Rosalie, uh, Lynn Shea did the Insidious movies, Victor Garber, Love Victor Garber. Love Victor Garber. Uh, he played, uh, uh, he misplayed uh, Andrews on Titanic. And um, so, yeah. So, this is a film about, uh, uh, this is a film about two people on the opposite ends of the uh, spectrum. Uh, we have Sam playing Tom, who's a, who, who's a wannabe photojournalist. Uh, he can't, he wants to be known as a, as a photographer and he can't get through the front door. Uh, so he is uh, on the down and outs. He is at he is at the bottom at the bottom. Um, he is uh, forced out of his apartment um, and has to go and uh, uh, move his belongings to a uh, illegal cab. He bought a cab at auction and he can drive the cab, but he cannot use it as a cab. Though sometimes he does do that in an emergency for money. So uh, when he gets tossed out of his apartment. Uh, that's what he does. He converts his cab to a cab and, and he goes looking for fares. He finds uh, uh, Claire, played by Amber Yeager. And yes, uh, Sam and Amber are married in real life. Um, and Claire, on the other hand, uh, is, finds out that her husband is really wavering close to having an affair with his secretary. So she is upset with that. And when she goes home, she finds out that her dad is, has had a heart attack in California. Uh, her mom has called and left a message saying her dad had a heart attack. So her day is not a very good day either. And the two meet. Um, she, needs, she, needs, she, needs, she just needs to go someplace. He needs to, he needs to make some money. So he, she climbs, Claire climbs into the cab. And uh, a few, a few uh, a minutes later we find out that she just wants him to go. And money's no object. And so he starts driving Claire and turns out that she's just this distraught. She falls asleep in the back of the cab. And by the time she wakes up, she, she finds out that Tom indeed has taken her out of his word. And has, has been driving all night. And when she wakes up, she finds out that they're in Philadelphia, or, uh, Pennsylvania. So uh, she, she, asked, uh, she asked Tom to drive her to California. And they come to an arrangement where she'll pay him $5,000 for the cab ride. Um... So the two of them bicker and feud, um, as, you know, as, as, as these movies warrant, you know, they always have the, the bickering part. Um, and, uh, as they keep driving, they slowly start to learn a little more about each other, uh, about their lives. And, uh, both of them seem to be built on lies, uh, lies to themselves, uh, lies that, uh, uh, Claire thinks her husband is having an affair and is no doubt thinking of you know yes he is uh tom on the other hand has hard has a hard time telling the honest honest being honest telling the truth as he tells claire that his name is dan reeves and his name's not really dan reeves it's tom um and they come into all sorts of uh, uh, uh shenanigans including claire losing her purse at a restaurant uh and that forces uh forces them to get creative to raise money to get to the to finish the trip to California, uh, first they, they act as a cab um, to, and to raise some money. 
and then they get desperate and um, uh, Tom drives to Boulder, Colorado, where his parents live at, and ends up robbing them of, of money so they can keep going. Um, and um, so they get to Vegas. They pick up uh, 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 they pick up Claire's mom, Jill, uh, you know, to pick her up to take her to see her dad. And then uh, uh, the mom tells Claire that she left two messages. Now the first one was the first one was your dad had a heart attack. And then uh, later on, her, her mom had called to tell her that her dad had not made it, that he had passed away. But she didn't make, she didn't get the phone call. Um, so they end up uh, driving uh, Jill and Tom and Claire. They end up driving to uh, Los Angeles where uh, Claire's husband's there. He heard the message and flew out. And, um, and so, you know, Tom has feelings for him, you know, for Claire. Claire has feelings for Tom, but they didn't act on it. And and uh, when Claire's husband tells her that he didn't do anything at all, he, he was tempted, but he didn't cross the line. And so it looks like she's going to go back, back to New York, back to her life. And, um, and Tom, we don't know what's going to happen to him. But as they're driving to the airport to fly home, Claire realizes that, her husband is, it's, the damage has been done. Um, and so we see them fly to New York and we see Tom disappear. And um, a year later, about a year later, we pick it up and um, uh, Claire has indeed divorced her husband, Eric. He's divorced her, he's, she's divorced him. And she gets a package in the mail and uh, we find out that Tom has, uh, Tom has changed his life as well. There's a lot. There's he. He's he has a, had a major life change as well. Now whether that means these two will get together, we don't know. We don't know. We can only hope, right? Um, so I'll leave it there. I'll leave it there, and I'll just talk to you about some thoughts about the film. Uh, the film was written and directed by uh, 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 Sam Yeager, and he did a really nice job. This is a, a beautiful movie. This is billed as a romantic comedy, and, and I got to tell you that I think that that term is used way too loosely. Um, in fact, there's some critic, and I know that he did not watch this movie. Uh, he says, uh, "I predict it will be Hollywood's next my big fat Greek wedding." No, no, this is this is a different kind of animal. This is a different kind of movie. A uh, big fat Greek wedding was hilarious, out loud laugh. Um, this is a lot more serious and uh, tells more of a it's more of a darker story uh, more of a character uh, a character story it's beautifully filmed and really wonderfully acted by uh, Sam and, and, and Amber um, and you can definitely see the chemistry between the two of them as husband and wife it comes through loud and clear I, I loved it I loved this movie I thought this movie was fantastic um, it's not a Hallmark movie either because that's what was told to me too. I disagree with that. Uh, I think this is a lot heavier than the Hallmark movie. Um, I, I didn't think, you know, not even the ending, you know, even the ending was, um, it was very emotional and, and one that's hopeful, but you just don't know. Uh, you just hope for the best, right? Um, but the act and the, the cast that, that Sam Yeager got for his film is perfect. Um, and just enough time, screen time, to, to hook you into it. Um, and um, I enjoyed it. I thought it was really well done. Um, it doesn't look like Amber Yeager does much acting anymore. And that's a shame because she really was really good in this. Uh, she was really good in this. Sam was really good in this. But I was really, I was hooked on Amber's performance. That was my favorite. I thought I thought she did a great job here, and uh, I thought Sam wrote a really smart script. Um, and um, yeah, um, I highly recommend this one. And you can get this at Bayview Entertainment. I'm going to put all their information down below in the description box. You can go over there and hook it up. Uh, tell Peter Castro you got a, you heard it from the Cheetah. And um, thanks for coming in and watching this review. Um, yeah, tell us your favorite romantic comedy, a real romantic comedy, or define what a romantic comedy is to you. Drop it down in the comment box. I'd love to hear it. Um, 
uh, uh, it's romantic, or it's a, it's more of a, like I said, it's more of a character story. It has some romantic elements into it, has some comedic, comedic elements to it, but it is a drama. It is not a comedy. All right, um, that's it for me. Uh, like I said, drop a comment down below if you're new to the, to the channel. Hit the sub button. Uh, hit the notification bell whenever I drop a new video. You'll be the first to know about it. And uh, we will talk at you soon. Peace.